Hey everyone, this is Eric from Cash and Cultura. Today's a special day and everyone in the hobby knows what I'm talking about. It's mail day. So I wanted to show you all live because I have not been buying any sports cards other than sealed product. I haven't been on eBay. Um, my wife can attest to this. I was on eBay all day every day just scouting looking at cards i would find one card i would look to see how much it sold for how much it how much people were selling it for the history of the past three six months that stuff takes days to figure out and i was on there i was on there for months i made some good purchases but i also spent a lot of money so i told myself no more ebay so what I noticed was that most of my collection was Kobe, which is what I wanted to be. Uh, another portion is Michael Jordan, but the one that I was missing was, you guessed it, LeBron James. So I did some research. I, I looked at his rookie cards, of course, and I um, I saw that they were they were pretty expensive. So. What I did was I looked into the second year cards and I didn't just go for any card. Obviously, I wanted to look into something that looks good because I collect things that I like to look at. I don't collect something that someone will just tell me to go buy it because it other people are buying it. That's not how I do things. I do, I'll buy it because it's appealing. Uh, there's a nice aesthetic to it. Uh, and obviously I will buy something even more if it's going to appreciate in price so we know that LeBron James cards are insane right now so this is the first one that I bought and the reason I bought this one is because there is a sort of prism look to it which i really like uh, obviously the picture looks great lebron james in his second year he dropped 41 points so this is a season in review card upper deck sp game used edition design this is also a serial numbered card there might be about 15 to 20 of these cards so there's different cards right it's uh it's the season in review so it's highlighting different games it'll highlight different stats each set of these cards is serial numbered up to 999 if i could guess probably maybe 20,000 of these cards which is that's a small amount compared to the amount of cards that are being printed right now if i'm not mistaken i think scion's prism is almost at 9,000 graded so if there is only 20,000 of these cards available then there probably isn't a lot graded and when you look at the PSA population report it tells me just that that not a lot of these cards are graded um, when I look at this card for the most part it's in good it's it's in pretty good condition but you can definitely see some whitening so i'm not super big into flipping into getting them graded and selling them so i'm not really concerned with that i do want a cart that is in really good condition um, but this is good enough so hey y'all i wanted to cut and give a quick update on this video so this video was before i cut the beard yes but I felt the need to cut in and explain a few things. So the LeBron set that I'm talking about, there's about uh, 40 different cards in that set, all of them being short print, all, a lot of them being serial numbered up to 99 or up to 50 or a few one of ones. And uh, there is less than 100 
graded LeBron cards from that set in PSA. I didn't check SGC or Beckett, um, but in PSA, there's less than 100 graded cards, meaning that graded a 7, an 8, or 9, or 10. In regards to Zion Williamson, for the 2019-2020 Panini Prism set, there is at least over 40 different Zion cards. And his base card, there is already 17,000 graded cards from either, again, that graded a 7, an 8, a 9. As far as grading a 10, there is over 9,000, almost hitting 10,000 PSA 10 cards. That is tremendously high. However, that does not dictate the demand. So even though it seems ridiculously high compared to, let's say, the LeBron card that I bought, that doesn't mean that the LeBron card should outprice the Zion card. What will dictate that is the demand. So if there is 1 million people who want the Zion Williamson PSA 10, then that's what will dictate the price. All right. However, those are things I take into consideration when buying cards. Someone who has a solidified career, who is arguably top three best player ever already and is still playing at a very high level. A card that wasn't overproduced, a card that um, isn't easily graded or hasn't been graded a lot. Those are things I take into consideration, but most importantly, it's a player. I make sure that I like the card and everything else is extra. Back to the video. And by the way, you should save these. You never know when you're gonna need them. All right, so this right here is the first time that I'm seeing these. It's actually two and the guy used scotch tape. No scotch tape on top loaders, homie. Um, this is actually the exact same cart that I just showed you right now. It's number 162. So it's also a season in review card which highlights his game on March 27th of 2004. The difference, and you could see it very well, is that this is in gold. Right, so this card is in pretty good condition. There is some whitening on the top right corner. The big difference between this card and this card is that this one is serial numbered up to 99 and this one is serial numbered up to 50. So there's only 50 of these cards. And this one is number nine out of 50. So that's a pretty low number, number nine. Uh, this is a sick card. I love, I like it. So these are my first LeBron James individual purchase cards and I'm loving them so far. And here's another one. Um, this is, he dropped 28 points on November 19th of 2003. And this one is serial numbered number 12 out of 50. So these are pretty sick cards. So this guy didn't use any tape at the top. It was kind of slipping out and this one looks in really good condition. Wow. This is a sick card. So I did some more research as far as and when I say research, I mean literally just looking through eBay postings, looking at history and I go very, very vague in general LeBron cards. I don't even put LeBron James. I just put LeBron cards and then maybe I'll put LeBron James cards and then maybe I'll put LeBron James 2003. LeBron James 2003 to 2004. I start getting more specific, more specific, and I look through um, current listings and I look at sold and completed items. So cards that have already sold and I go through that until I find something that catches my eye. I usually then go to the PSA population report and I look to see how many of these cards are graded 
and um, these cards are they're not there's not a lot of great cards so the the ones that I got right now are probably not con contenders or candidates for PSA but this one looks really really good this is a card So it has a nice gloss to it. Flight team. So this is a really good condition. Again, when you look at the population report, there's not a lot of these graded and um, I could probably see why. It looks like this type of card would probably take a beating over time. These are pretty awesome LeBron James cards. These are my first individual LeBron James cards. Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to Mail Day. Here's what's to come. More videos about my personal collection, more videos about cards that I will continue buying. For now, watch my previous video as I talk about a massive giveaway which is a very hot product right now, 2020 Topps Chrome. I'm giving away a blaster box. So go back to my previous video and comment what your 2020 highlight has been. I know that 2020 has been tough. However, I know that there is a lot of positive that we can focus on and I want to know what's your positive of for 2020 year. Thank you very much for your support. Keep watching, keep liking, keep subscribing.